How do I connect my router to Verizon 5G home internet? Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video tutorial on how to connect your router to Verizon 5G home internet. In this video, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process to get your router up and running with Verizon's high-speed 5G network. Let's get started. Check router compatibility. Before diving into the setup process, it's essential to ensure that your router is compatible with Verizon 5G home internet. Verizon provides a list of approved routers on their website, so make sure your router is on that list. If it's not, you may need to purchase a new router or contact Verizon for further assistance. Gather the necessary equipment. To connect your router to Verizon's 5G home internet, you will need a few things. 1. Verizon 5G home internet service. Ensure that you have an active subscription to Verizon's 5G home internet service. If you haven't signed up yet, contact Verizon to get started. 2. Router. Make sure you have a compatible router from the Verizon approved list. 3. Power adapter. Ensure you have the power adapter that came with your router. 4. Ethernet cable. You will need an Ethernet cable to establish a connection between your router and the Verizon 5G home internet gateway. Connect the router to the gateway. Now that you have everything ready, let's proceed with connecting your router to the Verizon 5G Home Internet Gateway. 1. Locate the Verizon 5G Home Internet Gateway. This is the device provided by Verizon that connects to the 5G network. Find a suitable location for it, preferably near a window for better signal reception. 2. Connect the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into the Verizon 5G Home Internet Gateway and the other end into a power outlet. Ensure it is securely connected. 3. Power on the gateway. Press the power button on the gateway to turn it on. Wait for it to fully boot up, which may take a few minutes. 4. Connect the Ethernet cable. Take one end of the Ethernet cable and plug it into the Ethernet port on the gateway. Then, connect the other end into the WAN or Internet port on your router. Make sure it's securely connected. 5. Power on your router. Plug your router's power adapter into a power outlet and turn it on. Wait for the router to fully boot up. Configure your router. With the physical connections established, it's time to configure your router to connect to the Verizon 5G home internet. 1. Access the router's configuration page. Open a web browser on your computer or mobile device and enter the router's default IP address in the address bar. The default IP address is typically mentioned in the router's user manual or can be found on the manufacturer's website. 2. Log in to the router's admin panel. Enter the default username and password for your router to access its configuration settings. If you haven't changed these credentials, you can find them in the router's user manual or on the manufacturer's website. 3. Configure the WAN settings. Look for the WAN or Internet Settings section in your router's admin panel. Select the option to obtain an IP address automatically or use DHCP. 4. Save and apply the settings. After making the necessary changes, save the settings and apply them. Your router will restart and establish a connection with the Verizon 5G home internet service. Congratulations! You have successfully connected your router to Verizon's 5G home internet. Now, 